So it's that time of year that we're going to begin helping our students prepare for our EOCs, EOGs, NCFEs, and any other final exams that you have in your class. And instead of showing you a bunch of different test prep tools that you can use, we're going to focus on one that you're probably are familiar, already familiar with that has some really new features. And we're going to show you how that, all that works on this week's episode of IT. Quizlet is a great website that you can go to to begin making test prep content for your students. It has a lot of different features inside of it. It's been used for a long time by a lot of different people. And what I really like about it is that it integrates well with other products like websites or even Canvas. The website makes it extremely easy to begin creating your Quizlets and sharing them with your students. In order to get started with Quizlet, head over to Quizlet.com. Then select the Login button in the upper right hand corner. When the box appears, go ahead and select Login with Google, and then you will be asked to choose your Google account. So go ahead and select your CMS Google account, or you will have to log in with your Google account if it is not already listed. When you're ready to get started, click on the Create a Study Set button. You will then be taken to a page where you can give your study set a title, as well as add terms and definitions. You can also add voice recordings to the term as well as an image or a voice recording for the definition. To add a new card, just move your mouse in between two of the cards and a yellow plus sign will appear. Click on that and you will be able to add a new term as well as the definition. When you are done creating your study set, in the upper right hand corner click on the create button. This will then create a link that you can copy and share on your LMS for your students. So keep in mind, Quizlet also has the ability to search for other Quizlets that other teachers across the country have made. Now, one of the newer features that's available inside Quizlet is something that will make your uh, content more interactive, and that is the Quizlet Live feature. Once you have your content set inside of Quizlet, you can now begin using the new feature called Live. To start Live, you just click on the button that says Live. That will bring you to an option where you can choose how you want to play whether you want to use uh, the free mode. Um, if you have the upgraded version, you can use that, but we're gonna just stick with the free option and select Create Game. And that will present a Quizlet Live code that you will give to your students. They will go to the web address up at the top where it says www.quizlet.live, and then they will use that uh, Quizlet Live join code to enter the game. As your students join the game, you will see their names appear at the bottom of your screen. Once you have all your students uh, ready and registered in your game, you can select the blue button that says Create Game With, and then it'll have the number of students. And then it's going to put the students into teams. Each, each member of the group will have to locate each other to join each other in, in the game. Once your students have found each other and their, their team is now collected, the teacher can then select start game and now on the student devices the questions will appear for each team they will have the same question but each team member will have a different answers or a different set of answers and it will become the job of the group to find which screen which member of the group has the correct answer so as the students read the question they will locate which, which device has the correct answer. They will select that answer for the question. The question will appear on both devices, but each device will have a different set of answers. You will notice on this particular option, the answer is on David's device. When he selects Pierre, which is the correct answer, it'll mark green on both, and they can proceed to the next question. From the teacher screen, you will be able to see the progress of each team. The teacher can project this on the board to encourage some competition amongst the members of the group to, to enable them to see how each group is progressing. Once the game is concluded, on each device, including the teacher screen, you will be able to review each question as well as the answer just to do a quick run through to review any commonly missed questions. Once you are done, at the top you have two options. You can either exit the game or 
If your students want to review again, you can select play again. One of the big benefits that you have using the, the Quizlet Live feature is the academic conversations that students will have as they are involved in. But as they're looking at each other's screens, they'll be able to, to talk to each other, to figure out what the correct answer, and they can learn a lot from each other through that conversation. And I have a great idea to keep this dialogue going. How about we have the teachers comment below on our YouTube channel, watching the video, and share with us what your favorite resource is to review with your students. That will give other teachers the ability to use those tools to review. That's a good idea. That's going to do it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Check us out next week for another edition of IT Week.